Hello everyone and once again welcome to WS Cube Tech English channel. Myself Kumar Taskir. Because in this particular video of Facebook ad series, we are basically going to talk about buyer's persona. So as you can see over here, what we are going to discuss is what is buyer's persona and what are the different concepts related to creation of buyer's persona and what are the different benefits that we get as advertiser when we create buyer's persona. So this is again a very important concept with regards to any advertising platform because whenever we talk about running ads we cannot ignore the aspects of audiences we have to create audiences to run ads and whenever we create audiences what we have to do is we have to define the characteristics of that particular audience that how exactly our audience will look right what are the characteristics of our audience what is the attribute of our audience this is what we have to identify and this is what we have to create right so all these things actually comes under the buyer's persona so to target relevant audience to show your ads to the relevant audience what we need is basically we need to understand the buyer's persona so coming on the basic definitions of buyer's persona you can see over here as we have written a buyer's persona is a model that describes your typical or target audience whenever you are looking to promote your product or service you will be promoting that product or service to a particular audience and that particular audience is basically having some characteristics right so you have to figure out, you have to find out the different characteristics of the audiences to whom you are going to show your ad. So that is what written over here in a very simple language. A bias persona is a model. Model means it's, it's kind of a, a like a, it's a kind of a set which contains some characteristics that describes your typical or target customer base or customer or prospect, whatever you want based on detailed audience research. So how can you actually create your bias persona? It's not that easy. You have to understand your audience. You have to understand your prospects. You have to do the detailed research of your prospect. And also you have to understand your product and service. So if you know very well about your product and service, then only you will be able to figure out your prospects. Then you will be able to figure out the characteristics of your prospects and you will target those characteristics on Facebook ads to reach to that particular audience, right? So whenever whenever we want to create bias persona now we know that basic definition of bias persona that what is bias persona and how it actually looks like right now uh, we have some things over here which are very important and we cannot ignore them the first thing like uh, whenever we want to create bias persona we we have to consider some things and these are like uh, you can see we have three points over here so first of all you have to understand or you have to figure out that who is already buying from you right so if you have a like let's assume a product like if you have this remote over here right and if you are selling this remote then first of all what you have to do is you have to identify by that who are your present customers so you have to learn about your present customers and those people who have already purchased your remote right so you will try to analyze that particular audience that what kind of characteristics this audience has like what kind of demographic this audience has right so you you have to identify the characteristics of your present customer now the second point is dig into your website and social analytics now you have to go to your facebook page now you have to go to your website and you have to see the analytics google analytics of your website and from there you will figure out that what kind of pages are visited most and what kind of audience is coming on to what kind of pages right so if you can figure out that okay these are some people who are actually spending some time on our website and these are the set of the people who are spending some valuable time or who are spending much time on some of uh, our very important web pages then you can basically analyze the characteristics of that particular audience or you can you can uh, identify the age of that particular audience you can identify location of that particular audience you can identify the gender of that particular audience so all these things you have to identify right and that particular audience or the characteristics that you were seeing in that particular audience will be will be very uh, important for you because those characteristics you want into your buyers persona. so i believe now you got to know that what is bias persona the basic of bias persona and the third point which we see over here is see what your competition is up to what your competitors are doing you have to identify all these things also and all these things basically whenever you will create a good bias persona you know that okay my prospect audience is between this particular age group is of this particular gender you know the demographics of your prospect you know the location of your prospect you know their buying pattern you know their uh, different different characteristics right now if you now if you can imagine your uh, prospect of you can imagine the image of your prospect that okay my ideal customer is something like this right you can create a better ad copy just to tell you right just to tell you suppose if your uh, if your uh, 
ideal customer is uh, like a student right if your ideal customer is student then you then you can prepare good ad copy because now you know that my ideal customer is a student of college or a college going student right so now you have the picture now you can easily create your ad copies right so you can basically create your ad copies perfectly whenever you whenever you create your bias persona and you can deliver that ad copy to the right audience right so we have another example over here and uh, that will basically explain you bias persona in much better way so let us take one example over here suppose uh, suppose we have a brand right we have a brand like ab ab company there is a there is a company which is ab company and they are the manufacturer of bottles what we can say is they are manufacturer of water bottle so if they are making water bottles for like different people right so if they are making water bottles for sports if they are making water bottles for students right if they are making water bottles for like uh, office going guys right office going guys and if they are making water bottles for females right now they have four different products and the audiences of four, all four different products will be very different right so, so the water bottle which is made for the purpose of sport uh, will have a different bias persona uh, when we compare it with the students or office going uh, people or uh, females right so what we have to do is as you can see on my laptop screen we have different products over here we have product one which is like sports water bottle and then we have product two which is like students related or students oriented water bottle then we have product number three which is like office water bottle and then we also have product number four which is like water bottles for ladies right so this will be the one audience right one audience that uh, has basically interest in sports and then we have second audience then we have third audience and then we have four. so we have all these four audiences over here these all audiences will have different characteristics right so these characteristics will basically define the bias persona right so what we can do next is basically we can prepare a sheet over here and we can write different characteristics over here right so you have to do these kind of exercise okay uh, you can write different characteristics over here now you can mention product one over here or you can write audience one and then what we can do is we can write audience two then we can write audience three and then we can write audience so we have four audiences over here to target different kind of product so what we can do is we can go ahead and write like sports product over here and then we can write student office and female right so we can write students and then you we can write office and then we can write female right so this is what we are going to do right now and then what we can do is basically let's highlight all these things so that these will look better and then we have entered the characteristics also now what we have to do is we have to write the age group then we have to write like uh, gender and then what we can uh, do is basically we can write the hobbies right we can we can write their likes likes and interest right interest so these all things we can we can write we can write their income group and we can write uh, some other attributes also or some other characteristics also so audience number one which is for the product uh, sports bottle right we can write bottle over here because we have taken the examples of bottle and then we have bottles for students and then we have bottles over here also then we have bottles for females so we have different uh, uh, different products over here and for that we are going to create different audiences and the characteristics of different audiences will basically define the bias persona over here so we can write the age over here for this particular audience our target group will be like from 16 to 45 and if we are targeting students our age group will be like uh, from 14 to 24 or 25 if we are targeting audience number three or we are looking for the attributes of audi audience number three what we can write over here in the age group is like uh, we can go with like 19 to 45 and for the females we can again write like from 16 to or 17 to like uh, 35 right whatever we want right then we can go with the hobbies so they will be writing sports related uh, products magazines so we have to we have to now search for the sports related magazines products on on facebook so that you, we can actually target those things similar kind of things will come into likes and interest and you can also select the income 
age group right so you can uh, fill all the information over here in all these cells with the, with respect to the characteristics which are mentioned over here and now this particular audience number one uh, has the bias persona which is there for the people who are interested in sports bottle right then we have audience number two over here which has some characteristics over here and these characteristics are here for like bottles for students right will be relevant to these people right actually these characteristics so this is how we actually create our bias persona and this is what bias persona actually means so we have to focus on creating the bias persona once we are done with the creation of bias persona we can use this persona in targeting in selecting our audiences in creating our audiences in selecting the different settings which are there in the audience section whenever we are looking to create the audiences also these characteristics or the attributes or the information that we have with regards to bias persona of any audience or any audience set what we can do is we can go ahead and create good ad copies because now we know that our target audience has all these characteristics so this is how we work on bias persona so that's it for this specific video see you in the next video till then goodbye